Welcome back to 10 slide info. DRDO has been very active for past one week in various activities. Previous week we noticed several steps taken by DRDO to prove its contribution to the defense field. To be more specific, the DRDO conducted a successful flight test of Abhyas, which is a high-speed expendable aerial target, and also successfully test-fired laser-guided anti-tank guided missile via the MBT Arjun tanks. Post that, on September 23, 2020, the DRDO conducted a successful night test fire of its indigenously developed nuclear-capable surface-to-surface Prithvi-2 missile, and this was as part of the user trial by the Indian Army from a base in Odisha. So all these things were done by DRDO during previous week. And as per the latest update, the Defense Research and Development Organization on Friday, which is September 25, 2020, kick-started a key process for production of Pinaka rockets, the relevant launchers and related equipments. To be more precise, the DRDO handed over the authority holding sealed particulars of this particular system to the Directorate General of Quality Assurance of the Ministry of Defense on September 25, 2020. So what is the exact role of the Directorate General of Quality Assurance? The DGQA is responsible for ensuring the quality specifications and standards of all defense equipment before it goes for manufacturing. The handing over ceremony was held at Armament Research and Development Establishment, which is a DRDO facility in Pune. The AHSP transfer marks a successful streamlining of the production process of Pinaka rockets, its launches, the battery command, posts, loader and replacement vehicles, as well as successful establishment of quality assurance processes. Now we know that the mass production is going to be starting very soon. Let me give you more background and details about this particular rocket system of India. Pinaka is a multiple rocket launcher or an artillery missile system which is capable of striking into an enemy territory up to a range of 75 km with high precision. This system has a maximum range of 40 km for Mark 1 variant, 75 km for Mark 2 variant and there is also a Mark 3 variant which is under development and its range is said to be around 120 kilometers. Pinaka was designed to replace the BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launcher systems of the Indian Army. A Pinaka battery has six launchers, six loader vehicles, six replacement vehicles, two vehicles for ferrying the command post and a vehicle for carrying the meteorological radar which will provide the data on winds. The Pinaka system is based on the 18 to 8 Tatra truck, which is rebadged in India by Bemmel. These trucks feature a central type regulation system. The driver can adjust the tire pressure to suit the terrain for optimum mobility, and also these trucks can carry a payload of 12 tons. The rockets can be fitted with a wide range of warheads, including pre fragmented high explosive, anti tank bomblet, anti tank minelet warhead anti-personal mines and incendiary practice and pilot shots. Each launcher can fire in a different direction and the system has the flexibility to fire all the rockets in one go or only a few. All this is made possible using the fire control computer which is embedded on this particular system. On August 19, 2020, six Pinaka rockets which were fully manufactured by private sector were test fired from a firing range and the testing achieved the desired results by accurately hitting the relevant targets. This is indeed a great achievement by Indian defense sector since it gives confidence that we can involve the private sectors in such manufacturing to reduce the Indian defense sector's dependency on government. As now the private sectors are allowed to manufacture, the demand of 4000 plus Pinaka rockets per year by Indian Army will be taken care of. The two private companies which would be helping the ordnance factory of Chandrapur with these products are said to be the Economic Explosives Limited and the Godrej and Boys. Indian Army wants to have more than 20 regiments of the Pinaka system which needs a lot of effort to meet this particular requirement. So this was a quick update regarding the latest happenings with the Pinaka rocket system for mass production. I'll upload another video with a new defense update or an aviation update later. 
please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section thank you